Here I'm at with a Tesla Model 3 with a Chatmo adapter connected to it. Uh, the latest firmware came out a few weeks ago that finally allows the Chatmo adapter to work with the Tesla Model 3. Um, I had to wait for it to ship to my house, but now it's ready. And I'm testing it right now at an older EVgo Pass uh, charging station. Works well. It's been running for at least, uh, I believe, uh, 10 minutes now. No stopping. Um, and it's about uh, about 36 uh, kilowatt kilowatt hours, or whatever it is. It's not the fastest of the EVgo, but it's one of the older ones, so it's still faster than home charging. So this will be a good stopgap if the superchargers ever go down, which they do often. They're usually up 99.9% .9 of the time. Or if I'm part of the country where there aren't any superchargers yet, like uh, North Dakota or uh, anywhere up there in Minnesota. So yeah, just want to show you it works well on EVgo, an older platform, but it works well. And uh, you could probably take a look at uh, some of the Electrify America chargers. I know they have one Chatmo adapter or one Chatmo outlet there as well. So I'll do that. TPM 1999, signing out. Here we are in Electrify America station using the Chatmo adapter on the now compatible Tesla Model 3. Um, most of these are CCS chargers, but there's one Chatmo for Leafs, or in this case, a Chatmo adapter on now all the Teslas except for the Roadster. Works really well. I'm getting about some odd, at least 40, 41 kilowatts. So I'm hoping that'll go up. The charging just started. Just testing it out because the adapter just became compatible with the Model 3. Just wanna make sure that um, it works at all stations. So the previous video was in EVgo. This one's in Electrify America. And pretty much those are all throughout the United States. So if supercharger ever goes down, I can use uh, Electrify America as a slower backup. So yeah, enjoy.